Yeah. And, and, and that's like probably the, a, a good description of it. And you mentioned the mental battle. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah. You go down these like rabbit holes. Um, you know, there's, there's an article written the other day uh, about players getting DFA and how, how much of a struggle that is. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would say it's kind of similar to that where it's like in a, especially younger Dan had my entire identity was wrapped up in this sport. Um, and that's definitely not the case anymore. Um, so like the battle has changed a little bit with that, but like the mental battle is like, I go out there and throw really well and thinking that, you know, uh, there, when I say go out there and throw like up at driveline where we're recording yeah. everything, everything is on edutronics and, and, and camera and we're getting all the track man to, I throw really well. Um, and I honestly just kind of resorted to, I just started texting GMs, started texting AGMs. I just started texting them. Um, I texted one the other day. I'm not going to say names or teams or anything, but I, you know, I texted one the other day and just said, Hey, here's, uh, I'd love to send you my stuff if you're interested. And, uh, he replied within like three minutes and was just like, yeah, send it over. And then was just like, dude, you're on our radar. Like, uh, you know, just keep, keep staying ready. Is keep it, working. Is it one that I know? Uh, no. Uh-huh. It isn't. Uh, maybe. I mean, you know everybody. We'll okay. we'll talk. We'll we'll talk later. Okay. But uh, um, no, it's just like you have, you have all this kind of stuff. So it's like you know that that brings you up. That brings your hope up, right? Um, and then three days will go by. Nothing happens, mm. and starts to kind of hope starts to go down a little bit, you know. And it's like trying to stay even keel is is is, is kind of the the secret sauce to being a successful baseball player the highs and lows of this game, but, uh, this one's been tough. This one's been tough. So, uh, luckily for me, I, I find that, uh, working out might be, uh, my favorite, mm-hmm. uh, stress reliever. Right. Um, and so like, I just get a chance to go get on the Peloton and ride or go for a jog or, you know, I can't lift a bunch of extra stuff because I, I have a program through driveline that I'm, I need to stay diligent in that way. Mm-hmm. I stay healthy and stay ready and, all this stuff we're working towards, but like, you know, the extra cardio, like definitely helps me kind of de-stress a little bit and keep things in the right spot for me. 